Darkness. What? Darkness. 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 Why darkness? Whether stuck as an assist trophy, a me costume, or not even mentioned Super Smash Brothers at all, these are the 10 characters I wanted for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, but for whatever reason, they didn't make the cut. Just a few rules before I get into the list, I'm keeping this within the realm of reality, so only video game characters and characters who I thought had a sliver of a shot to be in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. No memes, no mercy. But before we get into the list, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell as well for notifications on future videos. And with that out of the way, let's begin. And a uh, spoiler alert, Gino is not on this list. I debated between Dante and Phoenix Wright for this slot, but those guys got into Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Additionally, Rathalos is an assist trophy and boss battle in Ultimate. Then I remembered, Leon hasn't been in a fighting game. What the hell, Capcom? Leon got the swagger, he got the jacket, he got the jean. He's so much cooler than whack-ass Chris, that boulder punching asshole. Just put Leon in a fighting game for Christ's sake, Capcom. Jill is also acceptable. I mean, the actual Jill. I wanted an indie character here, and I thought about adding in either Shantae or Quotes, but I'm gonna go with an oddball pick with Zagreus from Hades. And full disclosure, I haven't played Hades, but my Discord buddy, Mr. Negative, helped me write this part. Join the Discord, link below. Zagreus has a personal journey to help his family and escape the underworld, and he has a ton of sentient weapons to help him out. So he has a good variety of weapons to battle with, and I think that really would help him out making him a very fun character to play as, and giving him a lot of variety. And just look at this dude's design, he is one handsome dude. I'm not gay, but I would let him fly on my dick any day of the week. And looking at Hades from an outside perspective, a business perspective, I haven't seen an indie title blow up so uh, commercially and critically as well as Hades has. And I don't know, I'm a big fan of Greek mythology as it is, so uh, yeah Nintendo, if you could get these guys to make a new Kid Icarus, that would be pretty tits. I must avenge my clan, and I made it into dead or alive for the movie! Hey, look, it's Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden! I love that game! Ninja Gaiden kicks my ass and calls me a bitch, but I love it. It's the kind of game that puts hair on your chest and makes you into a fucking animal. Ryu Hayabusa would have been a natural fit for Smash with all the crazy moves he has. It's a shame that he hasn't been able to join his NES brethren in Smash Ultimate. Unfortunately though, his series kind of, uh, died, thanks to that piece of trash known as Yaiba Z. Yaiba failed in his mission to kill Hayabusa, but he did temporarily kill the Ninja Gaiden series. Still, at least Ryu has Dead or Alive's love pillows to cushion his fall. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 gets all the love. Oh, giant anime tits on Nintendo's hot selling platform, the Nintendo Switch. You ain't shit, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Though I will say, Pyra and Mithra's love pillows are fantastic. Xenoblade Chronicles X is the true best Nintendo title, and I will die on that hill. Rick or Elma would have been so sick in Smash. They got all kinds of weapons like dual swords, beam katanas, ray guns, all kinds of shit. You would have had a lot of variety between those moves and TPRs. It would have been so much fun to play as. Still, it feels like Nintendo just kind of forgot about Xenoblade Chronicles X's existence because there's only like, what, five spirits in Smash, no music, but meanwhile Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2, they get all the characters, they get all the music. Xenoblade Chronicles X, well, we'll get that Switch port one of these days. Alright, my fellow Xenoblade Chronicles X stands, pour one up and cope with me now. One of the best games on the Nintendo Switch is Astral Chain, I'm getting that out of the way right now. It was nice seeing more first party reps in either Fighters Passes, but I wish the Howards were one of the playable characters. And I can understand why they weren't, Astral Chain was a new IP that didn't get released until the later half of 2019, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that at that point Nintendo had an idea for Fighters Pass 2, and they weren't sure about Astral Chain's commercial success, given that most of Platinum's games have been commercial duds. Thankfully, Astral Chain was a commercial success, and just looking at the footage, yeah, why would you not want to play those characters in Smash? I do think that if Astral Chain released maybe, say, a year earlier, I think we would have gotten the Howards in Fighters Pass 2, but as it stands, maybe it'll get in Smash 6. Still waiting on that Astral Chain sequel, by the way, Nintendo. Shadow, out of the edge. When Echo Fighters were confirmed to be a thing, many pointed towards Shadow for being a natural fit for the concept, given the commonalities between Sonic and Shadow. Unfortunately though, Sakurai did not see Shadow as fit for being a playable fighter and instead stuck as an assist trophy. Damn shame, no wonder he's so angry. 
As someone who's a big fan of Super Smash Bros. and Sonic the Hedgehog, if you couldn't tell, I'm actually pretty disappointed with how Sonic's representation has been in the Smash series. Two stages that are very visually similar, a uh, somewhat lackluster song selection, and their Sonic's moveset which seems pretty uninspired. So you know what, if Shadow was the Neko Fighter, it probably would not have been any more inspired than Sonic's. I wonder if Sakurai doesn't like Sonic the Hedgehog. Then again, if I forced myself to play Sonic 06 for inspiration, I'd probably hate Sonic 2. Okay, yeah, Sega technically has three playable reps in Smash between Sonic, Bayonetta, and Joker, but Bayo is more associated with Platinum Games and Joker with Alice. I'm talking about a pure Sega rep, a character that people think of Sega when they see them. Kiryu or Ichiban are popular and would fit naturally in Smash. Yes, Nagoshi-san, Kiryu-chan is not above fighting women, especially if they are armed with guns, whip guns, and guns on their feet and toed. Sakura Shinguji would have been a natural fit too. Uh, granted, no one besides weirdos like me and old farts in Japan would be hype, but still. You got Akira as an assist trophy, why not add Pi or Wolf, Hawkfield, or Jeffrey <laughs> fucking McWild to the roster? Or why not the thing from Samba de Amigo? You know what? I take that back. Nothing is more American than blasting hell demons as a really angry dude in a space suit. The Doom Slayer has become something of a mascot for the first person shooting genre, thanks to the critical and commercial success of Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, as well as this Doom Slayer's unique uh, characterization in the newer games. He has a ton of weapons to choose from, and I think he would have brought something different to the table in terms of both gameplay and design. And you know what? Pit went to hell anyway. You might as well get another guy down there in hell with him to help clean out the demons. Look, Nintendo, just make a new game with this guy in, and this guy is so cool. I love Kid Icarus. Uprising was fantastic. Just make a new Kid Icarus. God damn it, I need more coping juice. When I relaunched my YouTube back in 2020, I made my Who Will Be In Smash video, and Neku was one character I was sure, I was 100% sure was going to be in Smash. It seemed like Square was going to make The World Ends With You a major series, and you don't just make a sequel and an animated series out of nowhere. Neku, as well as his successor Rindo, would have been perfect fits for Smash. And the OST? Straight flames, bro. I'm hoping Square continues The World Ends With You series because there is so much potential here. And, uh, Square, just a piece of advice, actually advertise your game next time. Before we get into the number one slot, here are some honorable mentions. And the number one character I wanted for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the raw, sensual energy known as Waluigi. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, I crack myself up. Here's a real number one character. A beam wielding pro wrestling chronic masturbating otaku? How could you not want this dude in Smash? There's a million things you could have done with that. For me, the thing about Travis that makes him so memorable is his personality. He lives out the action life that most of his audience wants to live. Granted, he was meant to be an attack on otaku and nerd culture, but to Travis's credit, he works through his problems and confronts them head on, while living life on his own terms. There was a reason why when Travis was announced as a Mii fighter, there was such a resounding disappointment seen on the internet. One of these days, Travis will get into a fighting game. Maybe not Smash, but in a different game. Could be cool, could totally suck. Regardless, Travis is a memorable character, and the one character I wanted in Super Smash Bros. more than anybody else. So there you have it, there are 10 characters, well 10 plus characters I really wanted for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but for whatever reason, they didn't make the cut. And I gotta say, with now Sora being in Smash, I gotta say this is one of the craziest rosters I've ever seen in any video game ever, like more so than Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Project Cross Zone, like this is just like beyond imagination in my opinion. And I think it's a testament to Sakurai, his devotion to gaming, his connections with the industry, and how much uh, gaming as a whole respects him and his team to allow 
so many characters to be in this awesome product. So you know what? Cheers to you Sakurai, cheers to you those at Nintendo and Bandai Namco and all those who made Super Smash Bros. Ultimate possible. This is a game I'm going to be playing for many, many, many years. So you know what? Pour up and let's enjoy Super Smash Bros. And again, these are characters that I really wanted, but I know there's characters that you wanted that I didn't put on this list. So let me know what characters you wanted in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate down there in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well for notifications on future videos. And uh, just really quick before I forget, if I put Sora on my DLC tier list, my DLC ranking video, I'd probably put him right near Sephiroth in the third spot because Terry and Joker, those guys are just like, hmm. But Sora, very good note to end Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on. So yeah, I think with that out of the way, I think I'm done here. I'm going to enjoy my coping juice known as Strong Zero, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, everybody. Take care.